Hey everyone, it's HitboTC here with my proposal for a new bounty system in the Sea of Thieves. Since the anniversary update, we've seen so many amazing changes in the seas from Arena to Tall Tales and of course, who can forget Hunter's Call. However, I have noticed that the seas lately have been more of a Sea of Tales than a Sea of Thieves. My proposed bounty system would help bring balance to the force. Uh, seas once again. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's how it would work. For you and your crew to get a bounty placed on your head, you would need to sink three ships without sinking yourself. Once you send these three ships to the Whale Lord, a few things would happen. First, a special flag would be automatically put on your ship, which will notify everyone in the seas where you are every 30 seconds or so. Then a level one bounty would be placed on your heads and a countdown timer of 20 minutes would be given to you and your crew. At this point, for each additional ship sunk, while you have a bounty on your head, you will receive an additional five minutes added to your countdown, and you will increase your bounty by one level until you reach the max level of four, which would also max out your timer at 35 minutes. With each level of your bounty, you will receive a 25% increase on the value of any treasure you get during your bounty time. The max level you can get is level 4, which would give your treasure a 100% increase in value. If you manage to get to level 4 and you manage to stay alive for the length of your countdown, a special map will appear giving you the location of a special chest worth three times what a regular Athena chest is worth in gold and in reputation. At that same moment, your flag will change in color, notifying everyone on the seas what you are up to, meaning the race is on. This flag will stay active until the chest is dug up or you sink. Once you dig up your chest, your bounty is over and your flag is no longer visible on the map. But if you sink before you can dig up your chest, you will lose everything. Now, for those interested in hunting down these scurvy pirates, there's a reward for you too. For each bountied pirate ship sunk, a special pirate hat and chest will float up from the sunken player ship, rewarding you with a ton of gold for cleaning up these seas from all these gold thirsty pirates. Now, if you manage to sink a level four bounty ship, a special chest will float up, giving you what an Athena chest would be worth in gold and reputation. Now, with the bounty system, I see an expansion in two main areas in the world. The Sea Dog Tavern would be opened up in adventure mode, allowing pirates to get special cosmetics from a new faction called the Bounty Hunters. And the other area would be Thieves Haven. I've always thought this island has been desperately underused, and with the new bounty system, this would get a remodel with NPCs, bringing some major life to this beautiful area. For every ship you sink while you have a bounty on your head, you would receive reputation for this new faction called, wait for it, Sea Thieves. Okay, I know what you're thinking, that's a terrible name, the name could use some work. Well, if you have a better idea for what this faction of thieves could be called, share it in the comments below. Anyways, this is just a general idea of what I would love to see introduced into the Sea of Thieves. I think an introduction of a system like this would bring some PvP action back into our beloved adventure mode and help turn it back into the Sea of Thieves, not the Sea of Friends.